In this video, we will look at a few examples to practice finding the area of sectors and segments in circles. In example A, it says find the area of the blue sector. Leave your answers in terms of pi. So what we're given is that the radius of the circle is 8, and the sector we're looking for is 60 degrees, has a central angle of 60 degrees. So in order to find the area of the sector, we're going to find the area of the whole circle, pi r squared, and multiply by the fraction of the circle that the sector is, which we can figure out by doing the angle that's given divided by 360, which is how many degrees are in a whole circle. So we know that the radius is 8, so we can plug in 8 for the radius, and our central angle is 60 degrees. So once we calculate this, we'll have our area. So 8 squared is 64, so this is 64 pi, and then 60 over 360 is 1 sixth, so I can rewrite that like this. So my area is 64 pi divided by 6, which I can reduce to 32 pi over 3, and then we should have units squared. In example B, it says find the area of the blue segment below. So our strategy will be this. For, to find the area of the segment, we should first find the area of the whole sector and subtract the area of the triangle. So we need to figure out two different pieces first, the sector and the triangle, and subtract them to find the area of the segment. So to figure out the area of the sector, we want to do pi r squared times the central angle divided by 360. So our radius in this case is 24, and our central angle is 120 degrees. So I want to do 24 squared, and then I can also reduce 120 over 360 to one third. So I get 576 pi times one third. So that's like doing 576 divided by three, which is 192 pi. So the area of the sector is 192 pi. So that's the area of this whole thing. So next we wanna figure out the area of just the triangle so that we can subtract those two. To find the area of a triangle, you need to know its base and its height. And neither of those are given to us, so we'll have to use the angle and the 24 side length to help us. If I draw in the height, I've actually created two congruent triangles, which have angles of 60 degrees up here. Because this is a right angle, it means it's actually a 30-60-90 special right triangle. So I can use the pattern of 30-60-90 triangles to help me. If I just focus on the triangle on the left, what I'm given is the hypotenuse is 24. That means the side across from the 30 must be 12, and the side across from the 60 must be 12 root 3. That means that the full base of this triangle is 12 root 3 plus 12 root 3, which is 24 root 3, and the height of the triangle is 12. So 24 root 3 is the base and 12 is the height. So if I want to figure out the area of the triangle, I have to remember to find the area of a triangle is base times height divided by 2, and I know that my base is 24 root 3 and my height is 12. So I have to just multiply that out, and I get 144 root 3, and that would be units squared. So far, all my areas should be units squared. So now, since I know the area of the whole sector and the area of the triangle, I can subtract those in order to figure out the area of the segment. So the area of the segment will be the area of the sector, which was 192 pi, minus the area of the triangle, 144 root 3, and that will give me my area of segment. 
And since you can't really combine like terms there unless you want to change everything to decimal approximations, I'm just going to leave my answer like this. So it should just be 192 pi minus 144 root 3 units squared.